Hi everybody and welcome to Museo del Black Metal Italiano. Today we are going to be talking about Obscurum Malum and his new album Fantasia. Hi guys and welcome to a new review for Museo del Black Metal Italiano. Today we are going to be talking about a very unique band from Campania, the region where Naples is located. The band is called Obscurum Malum and it is a one-man band that has been active for quite some time now and that has got a unique approach to black metal and that releases some really weird obscure and at the same time mesmerizing music. Some of the peculiarities that characterize the sound of Obscure Malum are definitely the sound of the guitar, the usage of synths and uh, as well on top of everything else the usage of a percussion set rather than a usual drum kit. This characteristic make obscure mellow music quite unique. Definitely uh, not so accessible as uh, so many other black metal bands out there, but at the same time this one-man band is capable of uh, mesmerizing the public through something that goes way over any kind of like expectations and that definitely makes a difference when we get to look at a raw black metal with a twist. Obscure Malum has been also uh, featuring the vocals from a singer called Hera. She is a singer from Starting Fire and in this record she's been uh, giving her voice for two tracks. Now Obscure Malum kind of like mixes the genres and confuses the listeners and that's because there is so much going on within this record uh, that is kind of like at times difficult to keep track of everything. Or for so the uh, sensations that the musician is uh, capable of uh, transferring to the listener and the kind of you know soundscapes that this specific album is able to generate are something that uh, rarely can be found in black metal uh, or contemporary black metal nowadays. There are some uh, very unique choices uh, that make uh, Phantasma an incredible experience. As I said, unconventional instruments, a low-fi raw black metal approach to the genre, the usage of scenes that add an incredible aura to the overall album and on top of that the vocals hunting that quite often use dialect so Napolitan dialect or well Italian or regional language to um, kind of like talk the listener through some kind of like almost a dark fairy tales where the artist here involved uh, transfers his knowledge in terms of occultism, witchery, paganism and so on and so forth. Action in Phantasma is not your usual cup of tea. 
And that's because, again, the instruments and used for these records are quite different than the usual. The vocals approach is pretty unique, especially where we can even find, for example, the featured vocals of Hera from the Starting Fire. And as well, the usage of the dialect, well, it gives it to this whole album a completely different vibe in comparison to so many artists out there. Obscure Malum channels within this work, some Burzum-esque kind of influences, but at the same time, there are so many other, well, external influences that are actually creating the backbone of the record and it's kind of like interesting to see how for example some well plain rock uh, guitar moments are actually uh, set aside some almost a planet caravan from black sabbath moments Obscure Malum just puts everything together and it does it in a way that listening after listening it is kind of like interesting to see how these uh, songs are capable to catch the attention of the listener transporting him or her into a dark world, into like something so different than the ordinary black metal that at times we kind of like find ourselves into thinking of Abruptum or why not the third album of Black Funeral, that album that, uh, well, just opened the way for his uh, side project and then main project Psychonaut 75. given to the public something that cannot go unnoticed, something that is definitely raw, definitely low-fi, but at the same time sick, dirty, and so unique that honestly like albums like these are absolutely amazing and a pleasure to be listened to. I totally, totally, totally suggest you to go to the Bandcamp page of this band, take a look at this last release and give it a listen, give it a go. I'm gonna be leaving you also just below this video a link to the whole streaming of the album from, through our channel, so I hope you're gonna be enjoying it as much as I did. This is not definitely one of those incredible bombastic albums out there, but when we think about black metal and the atmospheres that this kind of music is capable of transmitting to the public, well, this album I feel is got it all. It take all of the boxes to, uh, to basically create something so intense that, well, I, I personally found absolutely amazing. Anyways guys, thank you very much for listening to this review, I hope you're gonna be liking this album and as always, if you like what you're gonna be listening to, please don't forget to support the bands. Thank you so much and see you next, bye! Custa dolore no Fida mia, oi fida mia, oi 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 fida mia Se mi avvolo colo fa, mi che mamma ti chiede Fida mia, oi fida mia, fida sì
Yeah. 